People wonder, when is the narcissist going to hoover me back? But what you don't understand is this is actually disrespectful and no one can tell you the timeline of when a narcissist will hoover you back. But when you understand what I'm about to tell you, what it actually means in a narcissist's mind when they hoover you, you'll see that narcissists or not, one of the common problems that I see with YouTube videos about narcissists is they try to paint a narcissist as like a robot that they're going to hoover you back in 3.5 days. They're still a human being. They have a personality disorder, but they're not a robot. And some narcissists are going to hoover you back. Some aren't going to hoover you back. Some will hoover you back in three months. Some will hoover you back in six. Point being is the narcissist hoovers you back not because we or they want you back. They're hoovering you back because they're trying to regulate their own emotions through you. One of the crucial things that will help you deal with any narcissist, especially when it comes to hoovering, is knowing that they hoover you from their perspective. And because we all see the world and we interact with the world through our perspective of it, and because we are more normal, we aren't narcissists, even if the narcissist has traumatized us, even if we um, have become trauma bonded to the narcissist, we are still more sane. Our reality testing is better than a narcissist. We typically do not have a personality disorder and we are seeing their hoovering through the lens of a healthier perspective. We're seeing it as if a normal person was to, you know, quote unquote, hoover us or text us back after a breakup, that means that that person genuinely wants to reestablish a connection. That means that person feels bad about what happened and they want to right their wrongs and maybe move on from the situation and move forward. That is possible. That is one of the things that keeps us trapped in any relationship or, or going back to previous partners and narcissists or not. It's just the truth is some people do break up. They grow even if they're apart and they come back and they live happily ever after. It does happen. But with a narcissist, that is not the case. They are hoovering you back and it's a sign of disrespect. It's not because they don't have the capacity for empathy. It's not because they want you back to reconcile and this time they're going to treat you right. They're hoovering you back because they want something from you. It might be as simple as just doing it to fulfill their ego needs so they can make reality congruent with their false sense of self line up so they so they don't feel guilty about you know traumatizing you it might be that they need another favor they might need something else from you again as you quite noticed and especially if this isn't your first time being hoovered the narcissist comes back with needs they, they, they it's not a regular relationship and this is one of the crucial things you must notice about these people and these interactions is they're not a normal person. They, they're they not coming back because they want to go out and go to the park and have a picnic. They, they're they coming back because they want something from you, whether it's your body, your money, your a place to stay. That is what they want from you. And not every narcissist is that superficial. I understand it. But even more so, like they just want your time and your energy. That's very dangerous. They are going to drain you they are going to that is just their nature they're very parasitic and they're going to lash onto you and because they are a narcissist because they use you to regulate their emotions that's why when you're with them it feels like you have to attend to them so much they are essentially a child and children while we love children they are very draining because they need nurturing they need taking care of but the narcissist is a grown adult they need to develop the capacity to take care of themselves. We are not their parents, even though that's what's going on there. On an emotional level, they have parentified us and we have taken on that role. And that is why the relationship is so dysfunctional. That is why when they hoover you back, they expect you to do everything. Just like when we were younger, we expect our parents to do things for us because they're our parents, right? They, they meet our needs and our parents don't necessarily expect anything to be reciprocated. They do it out of the kindness of their heart. And that's why you give so much to the narcissist. That's why they've been able to do you so wrong and you still go back to them. You, at least on an emotional level, at least on a psychological, analytical theory level, and that is a relationship where two people do not meet on an intimate romantic sense, right? It's a it's, um, parent-child. It's not lover-lover, right? It's not boyfriend-girlfriend type of thing. 
that's incest. Now, the hoovering is going to come with all sorts of strange behavior that we've all known to recognize, but because of the previous mentioned dynamic, we we are starting to distort reality like the narcissist. And that goes with any dysfunctional relationship you're in, whether it's a friendship, whether the person has a personality disorder or not, we take on the the characteristics, the beliefs of the people we hang out with, right? You, you see it all the time in churches and political spheres. Whoever you hang out with, you tend to kind of get brainwashed in a sense and you take on their personality traits. That's why when, here's what's going on when they hoover you. They are low on narcissistic supply. They don't love you. They are looking for narcissistic supply. So they're going through their phone and they are seeing who is, who's a good source of supply. And this could be for many reasons. It could be you're just close to them. Proximity, right? It could be that you are unfortunately easy to manipulate and some other sources of supply aren't as easy to manipulate. It could just be as simple as you're next in line, right? It could be that they, they're cycling through their harem of narcissistic supply and you're just next in line. It, it, it that, and that makes a lot of sense because it's like clockwork. The narcissist comes back depending on, on your particular narcissist. I know mine around the three mark, three month mark is usually when they start to come back. That probably means that's, that it's congruent with how much supply, right? They probably went with another supply for three months and now I'm next on the list. Or maybe they, they cycle from who knows? Who knows what's really, that's one of the craziest things I learned about narcissists is they are hiding an immense amount of secrets. They, they could have 20 people in their narcissistic harem and they cycle through them every week. That's a bit of an exaggeration, right? You know, it's just, and then especially for a narcissist, they're very lazy. It could be a, you're like one in five, right? And they go from one place to another. And, and that's maybe in those three months, they've been cycling those other four people. And now that's why like clockwork, it's once you see the basis of their personality and how they operate, it becomes very easy to, their patterns become very predictable and it becomes very easy to deal with them, at least in a sense of predictability because we've been so caught up, um, being abused by them, being traumatized by them, our emotions get us caught up in, you know, we're next on the list and now they're hoovering us and we get those hits of dopamine and all those neurotransmitters and now we want them back. We think, oh, oh finally they're, they're back and we feel that sense of relief. You see how our thinking has kind of turned into the narcissist? We've been taken, we've taken on their dysfunctional traits from being around them so much. And at times, because we're so caught up in this cycle of trauma, of ups and downs, we, we're not thinking clearly. But once you step away and you sober up and you see the situation for what it really is, you'll start to see that they know how to act right. They just don't do it because they don't have the capacity to do it. They don't want to do it. They don't actually love you. No one who, sometimes people who love you, abuse you. Anyone who does bad things to you, regardless of if they love you or not, is not someone that is a per that's not a person you want to be in a relationship with. That's not a healthy relationship. And it just goes to show that the narcissist knows that their actions aren't appropriate. That's why when they discarded you, they, they said all those bad things to you because they wanted to hurt you. They, they had that intention. And now they're coming back and they're love bombing you. They're, they're, they're trying to manipulate you back into the relationship. That just goes to show that even though they have a disordered mind, even though they themselves have very little control over their thoughts and emotions, they're still an adult and they're still responsible for their actions. And we have to understand that this Hoover is not, it's not something to be flattered about. It is an insult on our intelligence. It is an insult on our time and our peace of mind. By knowing this, we are starting to see why they have this this, this cycle, right? They, they idealize you, then they devalue you, then they discard you, and then they re, you know, they repeat that cycle over and over again. And as many people know, especially if this is your third, fourth, 10th time in this cycle, I I've had to go back a, a lot of times to really, for it to really sink in. But how many times do you, do you have to repeat that lesson? This just goes to show that the narcissist is never going to change. They are a disordered person and they keep tripping over the same rock because a normal, healthy person learns from their mistakes, especially, you know, we're, we're all human. Sometimes we repeat mistakes, but this person is 
20, 30, 50 years old and they've been repeating the same cycle with everyone in their life. At this point, it's not a mistake. It is a behavior pattern. And unfortunately, if this person isn't willing to get help, they aren't willing to reflect, which 99.9% .9 of narcissists aren't, the very logical and just brute force, brute truth answer is that the only way to, the only, the healthiest option in this situation is to, for you to step away from it and to let them go through that cycle with other people and do, and don't, compromise your peace of mind understand that this it's never going to get better they don't have the ability to, to put themselves in your shoes they don't have the ability for empathy and when you don't have the ability for empathy you don't have the ability to self-reflect to look at things from a different perspective it's always gonna that cycle is always gonna repeat with them because they do not have the capacity to they don't have the cognitive flexibility to break out of these behavior patterns